would like to start today to quote the words of our honorable president of the United States, Donald President Donald Trump. What he said, December 6, 2017, when in a very unfortunate situation, he declared that Jerusalem is the capital of the so-called State of Israel. And this is, I'm quoting his words, word to word. He's saying as follows. Jerusalem is not just the heart of the three great, great, great religions, but it's now also the heart of one of the most successful democracies in the world. Over the, the past seven decades, the Israeli people have built a country where Jews, Muslims, and Christians, and people of all faiths are free to live and worship according to their conscience and according to their beliefs. Unquote. Honorable President, very unfortunate to tell you, please go visit Kela Shesh, go visit Kela Arba, go to the offices, the rescue organization, which have been established to rescue our daughters and boys from the clutches of the Zionist army. You will see that this is unfortunate and not true. Orthodox anti-Zionist Jews in the so-called state of Israel are not free to live and worship according to their conscience and according to their religious beliefs. It's, it's far, far from the truth. Honorable President, you go on to say, quote, this sacred city should call for the best in humanity. Not pulling us back and down to the old fights that have become so totally predictable. Honorable President, what the Zionist State of Israel is doing, this is bringing us back to the very old dark days of communism, of pers religious persecution throughout the Jewish exile. You keep on to say, quote, Honorable President, so today we call for calm, for moderation, for voices of tolerance, to prevail over the purveyors of hate. Our children should inherit our love, not our conflict, unquote. Honorable President, we don't see any voices of tolerance for religious freedom in the so-called state of Israel. We constantly experience the purveyors of hate. We don't see any love and we don't ask for love. We just ask them, just fuck off! Orthodox religious Jews, let us live in peace and practice our religion as we wish. Now, I would like to quote, Honorable President, the obligations of the nations on the Commission of Human Rights, Religion, Resolution 1998-77, which reads as follows, bearing in mind that it's recognized in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, in the International Covenant of Civil and Political Rights, that everyone has the right to life, liberty, security, as well to the freedom of thought, conscience, and religion, and, not, and the right not to be discriminated. Recognizing the conscientious objection to military service derives from principles and reasons of conscience, including profound convictions arising from religious, moral, ethical. Recalling Article 14 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which recognizes the right of everyone to seek and enjoy in other countries asylum from persecution. Dear friends, asylum means that the United States of America under Universal human rights are obligated today to open their doors, to open their embassies, to allow visas and citizenship for anyone in the state of Israel that is persecuted. We Orthodox anti-Zionist Jews would wish to abolish our Israeli citizenship. We don't need it. It has been forced on us 
We have been living in historic Holy Land generations, generations before the onslaught of Zionism. We wish and pray every day for a peaceful dismantlement, dismantlement of the Zionist state. But meanwhile, while this regime is here, they are not going anywhere and they are religiously persecuted. We beg from the USA and from any other countries of freedom, from Canada, Belgium, England, Australia, etc., etc., the European Union, please open your doors so our people would go free and serve the Almighty as they wish. I would like to end with the finishing point. We recognize, we honor the United States of America that opened their doors after World War II and the Holocaust. And we are now close to over 70 years practicing freedom of religion in this blessed country. And we pray to the Almighty that this is the way it should stay until we await the Messiah. And we would like that our brethren in the so-called Zionist state of Israel should, should share the same level of freedom and peace that their brothers in the countries of the Gentiles throughout the world share. Let's be ashamed. Amen. We as asylum today in 